guys it's time for another spooky video a part of my vlogtober series and for tonight's spooky video I am going to be talking about creepy things that happen to your body when you die now I just want to go ahead and warn you guys that this video is going to be kind of graphic and if you're kind of sensitive to certain things you don't like gory talk so much or death then I will close out of this video now because I don't want to do anything to offend anyone or, you know, trigger anyone in any way. So, yeah, you have been fair warned. This stuff is kind of scientific, so it's interesting to learn about, but it's also kind of scary and freaky at the same time. And nothing has creeped me out more than the thought of death and what's going to happen in my body when... I croak. One thing that happens to your body when you pass away is rigor mortis. I hope I'm saying that right. And that is when your body starts to stiffen up after death. I'm sure you guys have heard of that one. That's like the most common one that I've heard of. You may moan or groan a little bit. And this doesn't just happen on its own. It has to be if someone maybe applies a little bit of pressure to your chest. You could still have a little bit of air in your lungs and when they move your body or something you could let out a little moan or groan kind of like a zombie which is kind of creepy in my opinion. I've also heard that it was kind of like a little watery gurgle. I've heard that there's a death rattle is what it's called so when people are taking their last breath you know, they breathe in and um, they kind of let out that little gurgle. Imagine that's kind of similar in a way, except you're already dead. And I'm sure you guys have heard of this one as well. Your body can still twitch maybe because even though your brain has already shut down, your nervous system takes a little bit longer to parts of your body can still kind of twitch and spasm a little bit but your corpse might explode now I know that this one sounds kind of unbelievable in a way and it's probably very rare uh, for it to happen but if your body lays undiscovered for too long the decomposition gases in your body can kind of build up and this can make your organs explode violently out of your stomach and i did see a photo of it which was disgusting i'm not going to include any of that stuff in here because i don't want to get in trouble for anything but it was very disturbing your body may change colors now, i've heard you can turn green you can turn purple or blue and this is mainly because blood is no longer being circulated throughout your body because you're dead. Duh. And it's because the blood kind of settles into place and it kind of makes these weird collars in your skin. Some people can turn like very pale in certain places when they've passed on. And this is because the blood is less concentrated in those areas or it's more drained out of those areas. So I know that we've all heard this before and it was that your hair and your nails will still grow once you've passed away and this is actually false. Your hair and your nails stop growing as soon as you pass away. What actually causes this is that your skin shrinks whenever you pass on can cause your cuticles and your nails to show a little bit more, making your nails appear longer. It can bring out more hair follicles, making your hair appear longer as well. So our hair doesn't actually grow whenever we pass on. Uh, it stops growing. Our bodies put out a putrid smell. Now, I'm sure you guys knew that by now, that whenever you die, you start to smell because of decomposition. And the reason why this is, is that as soon as we die, it, our bodies kind of send like a signal to the fungus and the bacteria that's inside of us. And that travels throughout your body. That's what puts out that odor, all, that, all those gases built up coming out of your organs. Animals will eat you. actually kind of creeps me out like for real they all do but this one for certain definitely 
creeps me out. So are these, there are these type of flies called blow flies and flesh flies and they are attracted to your body because of the odor of decomposition which is kind of gross kind of turns your stomach off. i hope you're not eating anything while you're watching this video because that might have been a bad idea because this is kind of gross but they're attracted to your corpse because of the odor that is being put out because of decomposition the flies will lay eggs into your flesh which will produce maggots and the maggots will start eating through your flesh kind of tmi that was something that I kind of didn't need to know. It was kind of gross, but you learned something from it. <laughs> then there are other creatures such as mites, ants, and vultures that will also eat your flesh as well. Our immune system will shut down. And this one's kind of weird in my opinion, but you know how your stomach kind of needs food in order to keep going? Well, once you die, it starts to ingest your intestines and then it spreads to other organs in your body. So basically, your stomach is just ingesting like all your other organs in your body, which is kind of weird. Our eyes bulge and our tongues swell. Now, I just, just picturing that in my head creeps me out. I don't even want to think about it because it's so creepy to me. But the gases that come from our intestines start to put out these gases and these toxins or whatever that make our eyes and our tongue do that. Our body can liquefy. So the reason why this happens, I'm going to have to read this one because it's kind of too much for me to memorize. And it says, as your body continues to break down, proteins decompose, which lead to the breakdown of cell walls and the loss of cohesion between tissues. The process results in, liquidifi in liquidification of our internal organs. So basically, our organs can start to liquefy after so long. Our skin nearly detaches from our body. And the reason why this is, is after you've been decomposing for so long, um, it can start to loosen up some of your skin from your bones. There are some other ones too that I thought about not mentioning, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. And one was that, um, if you're a man, this might freak you out. But in some cases for men, uh, like the way that they were found, sometimes like some of the blood can, I guess where it stops circulating or whatever, some men can be found dead with an erection on them. Your body can be naturally mummified. Now this says, some bodies, if left in special echo zones, such as salt deserts or peat bogs, can naturally mummify. In such cases, decomposition does not have a strong effect and the body is surprisingly well, well preserved. So that was very interesting to me. But yeah, those were all of the uh, creepy facts that I found uh, that happened to you after you die. Now, I'm sure that there are plenty more out there, but those are the only ones that I had written down. So, I may make another video like this in the future. I don't really know. Uh, it depends on if you guys like this or not, but yeah, I hope it wasn't too much for you. I just really thought it was creepy and interesting at the same time. Like, it's kind of cool learning about that kind of thing because I don't know. I just thought that it would be a good idea for Halloween because nothing says spooky like death does. So yeah, I hope I didn't turn your guys' stomachs too bad. Um, I just thought it was perfect for my channel because my name is Morbid Melanie and this stuff is kind of morbid. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And also leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Does this freak you out even more about death? Um, and are there other facts that I did not mention in this video? Feel free to leave them below and I will see you guys in my next video.